Hey everyone, it's me again. And as always, those who don't like this kind of stuff or don't like my content in general, I wouldn't even call that content, but whatever. Those who don't like what's going on can click away and unsub. And with that, we're starting. Dear Usami, how are you doing today? Hopefully you're doing absolutely fantastic. Today is uh, 31st March. It's a Sunday. It's 4.42 p.m. And it's nearly 28 degrees outside. Jeez. It's been completely hot out there. Thank God that I did not, that I'm not going outside anywhere, nor I would have to. Well, did I do anything today though? Unfortunately not. And apparently, in other countries, it's, uh, it's Easter time. Supposedly, Easter comes pretty late with them. Or Easter just doesn't exist due to the fact that we barely even celebrate it in our country. Oh well. Not that I really care this much about Easter anyways, because there aren't I don't get any gifts. Nor there will be. Well I suppose you won't it might, you know, interest you more than I do. Did I improve or not? Well, sadly, not much improvement has been on there, aside of the fact that I've had quite a chance to begin with, with the, you know, mom tutoring me on studying the history stuff and whatsoever. But, unfortunately, I biffed it out and completely killed the whole thing. Until literally it at some point, I've literally, I've literally gotten myself into a loop of playing a Genesis absolutely short version of an anime, of an anime opening called Smile, Smiling Bomb, which is literally the opening of Yu Yu Hakusho. You might be wondering, what the hell is a Yu Yu Hakusho, and why you got yourself interested in it? Well, Yu Yu Hakusho has been a little bit sparked inside me, thanks to Jump Force at first. And later on, I thought, why can't, why can't I just listen to the first opening? And as expected, the first opening of this one is pretty catchy as hell. I went in to investigate the video games, and long story short. Most of its video games are fighting games, and quite complex ones, with RPG elements and whatsoever. And then, here's another thing, like, it's almost as if I was, was gonna incorporate myself into to this anime more than anything. Yeah, it might be about time that I took a break from in your anime, but of course, I can't do that nowadays. Not especially where I have messed up so hard last semester, for the fourth time. And once again, I completely biffed it out, and completely stayed up, and time went horridly fast. And as a result, I stayed up for quite a long time. I found myself dreaming and fantasizing a little bit about some of the some of the Vista voice actresses. Yeah. And especially Amanda C. Miller. Voice, the Vista voice of, of good old Makoto. Yeah. Now I ain't that a hell of a fantasy. A little bit sexualized. I suppose so, but 
I guess this kind of dream would come to me this much, as there will be later on other things to dream about. But again, yeah, good old Amanda C. Anyways, anyways, since then I didn't sleep well, I found myself awake, literally, at 3.30 p.m. Which is not good. Like, not only I've wasted a lot of, wasted a night, but wasted also a lot of time sleeping in. It's as if I have, if I have, you know, been dragged into sleeping for quite a long time. But then it doesn't end there. Oh no. Right now, my mom is asleep, slash trying to sleep, thanks to the little fat shit brother absolutely making noises and completely being an idiot on us all. And then the question might be bet I think can I just take care of him? Because my, my mom literally doesn't let me take care of him. She doesn't literally want help in this kind of stuff. Which is honestly been not so, haven't been surprising to me ever since, um, ever since literally, like, uh, you know, third year middle school. Like, that fucker is born and they don't even want to bother protect themselves from him. Like, they always just go, let him be. Like, fine, I would let him be. But, for real, stop blaming me when he, stop blaming everyone and everything. When you, when he literally wakes you up like a fucking idiot. Like, what is the point of quote-unquote responsibilities if you're not gonna let me do the goddamn responsibility and cover up on you sleeping? That way, it would be much fair enough, right? Oh well. Not that I care this much anymore. So. What else is there to talk about? Aside of, you know. Aside of me giving in to my laziness right now. And since then, my mom is asleep. Another question would have been bad, which is. Aren't you supposed to study those on your own? Here's the thing. These books usually contain lots of words that mostly aren't even related to the subject in hand. And let's be real. I used to do a similar thing back in back when I was at school. And let me tell you, it was completely a different thing from what I have literally had. And then, uh, what happened at the end? Well, I guess then the swirl of studying has just died out. And you already know about this. <sighs> but, but to be fair, there's only a simpler way to study history and all of this since that I'm in history department so you gotta have a simpler way to study this kind of shit if there was a simpler thing about this then yeah I would have definitely done that alone and maybe well painted the town red like they say <sighs> Happy Easter, they say, huh? But honestly, an Easter without you is a complete waste. Not only this, but there is no, there are no gifts and there are no people to hang out with. 
Like, it's been all, it's been all pretty fucked up. hope that I can literally do this kind of thing literally after lunch and so that who knows what could happen uh, great I'm completely choking on my own words yeah that's how much I have fallen in and to tell you the truth, I fell off pretty hard way before. You know, many times I kept on falling off. You know, like during just two weeks, I've been losing my education and been losing a lot of online friends that I thought of them that they are actual good people and whatsoever. And that whole thing kept on going on and on and on. Until, until I literally like disregarded, literally disregarded what it means to be online. And disregarded pretty much, you know, almost everything that was related to social media. Because seriously, I fucking hate this. <sighs> well, this, uh, this is bad. I know. And frankly, looking back now, the real success that would have been with me that of those friends that I used to call them friends have actually stayed as friends of real friends and well if I didn't keep on having those fail if I didn't keep on failing those subjects I would have been completely uh, on a better you know mindset Then again, this shit kept on going for years. So, makes sense on why the fuck I should give up. But, uh, by doing that, by doing what I'm supposed to be doing later on, uh, things are gonna change, you know. Like, I'm gonna be having, I'm gonna be having an actual success gonna be actually able to be happy within my own holidays and stuff being able to uh, to have fun like how I should to be able to stay alive like how I should you know basically the rewards of the sacrifice that I'm, I'm supposed to be doing are gonna be huge. <sighs> Although there are just some there are just some points I'm gonna make it today. I'm probably gonna make it today. I don't think I'm I don't think I'm really true to what I'm supposed to be doing. As a matter of fact, I might be I might be feeling like that I'm lying to myself. Right. I'm supposed to be inspired enough. I'm supposed to be filled with all this weird and crazy love. But, uh, I guess it's starting to kick in. Like more reality stuff is starting to kick in. You know what? That's fine. That's really fine, cause cause really either that, either I, either I stop getting, you know, high so much on 
stuff that probably didn't exist. Or... <laughs> Great. Now I'm rambling. Now I'm rambling and yapping on a catastrophic level. Uh, this is really what it feels like to... To be inspired and going back to normal. And to almost find nothing to talk about. But for real. If I get actually rewarded out of all of this. Then by the end of literally like, I don't know. At least the next year. The next college year. That is. I would, I'm gonna literally. I'm gonna literally find myself forgetting about all of this. I'm forgetting about the inspiration and love that I've had towards all of this. But there can only be one question left to wonder. Is life seriously meant to be spent without, you know, without actually getting hyped or so in love or inspired by fictional stuff is it, is it really meant to be spent with everything that is you know realistic and real life like because if that's so then this might be the reason why I might not Caring so much. <sighs> that's just enough. That's just more yapping out of me. Well, you know what? That's enough yapping out of me. Because at this point, I'm just yapping randomly. <sighs> and then again, I am lonely. Lonely as all hell. I'm literally losing my shit. I'm losing my shit. And, well, losing my mind. <sighs> oh, man. I'm getting way more tired and way more sloppy. And later on, I'm gonna get completely fat and completely obese as all hell. Which is left to wonder, is it really gonna be how I am a few years later? Well, if I can save the, well, education part, you know, earlier enough. I can secure for myself a decent future, I suppose. Because as long as you are living in Egypt, then prepare to literally work like a machine and just disregard everything that makes you a human. Seriously, I really wish that I have gotten to your enemy much sooner. Maybe I would have been much more inspired and, well, avoided lots of shit. Well, I guess this is how it is. things that I want to say to you in this letter and to your face are you gonna ever meet probably obviously not 
but I do but I do hope that you know that you will always be in my heart. Sure, I have hmm, I keep on calling Mako uh, Mako the future wife material and all this. And I guess I may have lost all kinds of love and interest towards Mako. It's not her. It's me. Honestly. I don't know for how long am I going to be like this. And certainly. I do hope. That. Well. All of this ridiculous work. And this disregarding and all of this will actually reward me immensely. What am I saying? Of course it will reward me. I'm just gonna sacrifice. I'm just gonna sacrifice my love and heart and sacrifice my daydreaming and fantasies so that I can move on with this whole thing all the way to literal Mars <laughs> well I'm gonna have to cut this short cause any more of this yapping and it will be all you know useless well once again I really hope that we meet but until then, give me the strength to push through, just like how you always do, Usagi. With that gentle smile and personality of yours. With that dreadfully loving soul. Please. Help me move on. Help me move on and power through this bullshit. Yours truly, your loving fan. Hey, or your loving big brother. <laughs>